time for a chance to run the Beach to Bay Marathon. The 46th annual relay is set to begin early Saturday morning. Our Michael Gibson spoke with officials in charge of making sure that things run smoothly, as well as a first time runner who told us that he didn't want to brag, but he's pretty good. Doug McBee is the man in charge of Beach to Bay, and he says he's got a lot of work to get done before that big race starts early on Saturday morning. I don't know if you want to mark it or remember it. This afternoon, we found him meeting up with the men who are going to put up some fencing for the event, one of the largest relay marathons in the entire country. We have 1,086 person teams and we have 175 running the full marathon and we have 85 teams running the two person and honestly it compares almost exactly to last year. While McBee works on getting everything ready for the 46th annual event, Police say they're ready as always to make sure everything runs smoothly out on the roadways. We're going to have extra officers out there. You know, uh, the traffic safety section or traffic section will be out there working. Uh, there will be some lane closures, you know, which again, you're, you're, if you live in Corpus Christi, you're aware that this time of year we have beach to bay. Now, those who are actually going to be in the marathon were getting some more invaluable practice time. These are the students from Windsor Park Elementary. Who are going to lace up their sneakers on Saturday. The Cheetah Running Club from Minger Elementary was the toast of the school this afternoon. There's a lot of pressure on these young athletes because the school has won first place in the Beach to Bay Marathon five times. They're great runners. I, I cannot ex you know, express that enough. They, they run well. We do 10K runs. We don't do 5K runs. I'd say I'm a pretty good runner. Don't really want to brag about it, but I'm a pretty good runner. And we will see if young Luke can help lead his <laughs> cheetah running club to another first place finish in this most challenging of races. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Hey, good job.